Hey guys, welcome to the workout demo video for Thursday, April 16th. We're going to warm up by going for a walk around your neighborhood, five to 10 minutes, just to get your heart rate up a bit. And then let's do three rounds, seven air squats, five bent over rows, could be with an empty barbell or a broomstick or a dumbbell or any other odd object. And then one time through the Bergner warm up, either with a broomstick or an empty bar, but I want you to use the clean grip. And again, we'll post the Bergner warm up for the clean grip in the notes. Mobility, chest and pec stretch against the door frame, front rack, pigeon, and then a dumbbell or kettlebell or some other odd object down in a lunge position and let's stretch out the ankle and the Achilles. For your workout, we're gonna do five rounds, starting off with 10 pull-ups or bent over rows with your barbell, sandbag, or odd object, eight squat cleans, six push jerks. We're gonna start a new round every four minutes. So however quickly you get finished determines your rest time, but start at zero, start again at four, at eight, and so on, every four minutes. You could use a barbell, you could use a sandbag, you could use some other two-handed odd object. I want you to choose a weight that you could do the bent over rows in one to two quick sets and the push jerks unbroken. If you're using a barbell, no more than 95 pounds for the girls and 135 for the guys. If you need to sum out a single arm movement, then you can use a dumbbell, kettlebell, etc. In that case, you're gonna do bent over rows with that piece of equipment, then four squat cleans with your left hand and your, uh, on the left side and then four on the right side, and then four, or sorry, three push jerks with the left, three push jerks with the right. We're gonna record five scores, one score for each round. Thinking about efficiency in movement, you might wanna consider when to take a break. So taking a break after the eighth squat clean to clean it back up and do your push jerks is probably not very efficient. So you might wanna take a break after squat clean number seven, finish up that last squat clean, and then go through your push jerks. Optional accessory work today, we're gonna to do three sets of 20 alternating pistols. If you need to sub that out for one-legged box or chair squats, that's fine. Each leg counts as one rep and I'd like you to try to do each set unbroken. Then you can rest as needed in between the sets. For your cool down, go for a walk or a little bike ride to get your heart rate back down again. Let's do dumbbell or ankle stretch. If you have one or standing calf against a door frame, let's accumulate one minute each leg. And then chest and pec against the door frame and let's accumulate one minute each side. If you're doing bent over rows, you're gonna pick that barbell all the way up and then you're gonna go down into what we call the hang position when we're doing the Bergner. And then you're pulling that bar straight up vertically up to your chest and then right back down again. Up to your chest and then right back down. For the squat cleans, we're coming from the floor every time. I want you to get full extension, pull under that bar and then full depth at the bottom. Then back down to the ground, into the next rep. For your push jerks, it could be a push press or a push jerk. Again, be efficient and when you take your breaks, dipping with your weight back on your heels, driving that bar up overhead, lining it up straight with your shoulders, hips, and heels. If you drop under it in the jerk, make sure you get full extension before that bar comes back down. If you're using a dumbbell or a kettlebell, the bent over row is basically the same, just a slightly different hand position. Again, in that hang position when we do the Bergner warm up bring that bar or dumbbell straight up and then straight back down. Your squat cleans with a single arm odd object. You're gonna do all four on one side and then all four on the other side without the thruster. Same on the push jerks. We're gonna do all three on one side before we go to the other side. Again, if you jerk it and drop under, make sure you get full extension before you bring that dumbbell back down. For your pistols, if you need to use a box, a bench, or a chair, what I'd like you to do is try to just tap and go right back up into the next rep. Try not to sit on the box or the bench. Just tap, maintain control, and then stand back up. All right, guys, have a great workout.